Hey y'all, it's Kilanda, and I'm here with a Sunny Summer Slay collaboration with Dana. Her channel is called La Belle Dana here on YouTube. Please check out her video. I'll link it down in the description box below so you can see the way she created this fabulous cut crease. She is so beautiful and talented, so please tell her that Kilanda sent you. And if you'd like to see the way I created my look, just keep on watching. So I'm just taking the leftover concealer that I had on the back of my hand to cancel out the color of my eyelids. It's from my Ruby Kisses 3D Artist Contour Palette. And then I'm setting my lids with a loose powder by Black Opal. Now I'm going in with this teal shade and my Ruby Kisses Tapered Blending Brush. Um, I'm just kind of building up this color in the crease area very slowly because you know when you have color in the crease you've got to make sure that it's nice and blended. So I'm taking that brush and making small little circular motions and going back and forth in the crease area. I'm just building up this color slowly but surely and sort of winging it out in the outer V. Now I'm going in with this yellow shade on the same brush. Um, these are pressed pigments from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. And then I'm going in with my eyeshadow base, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm using my e.l.f. Professional Eyeliner Brush to help me to carve out my lid so I am kind of using the open eye in order to see where that fold is in my um, lid and that way I can make sure that I'm carving out a new lid above that fold Okay, so if you have hooded eyelids or your eyelids have lots of creases in them or you feel like you just want to create the illusion of a larger lid space, then the cut crease is just perfect for that. And I like to use the professional eyeliner brush whenever I am um, doing something where I need like a really straight crisp line. Um, I just prefer to use this brush because typically the bristles kind of just stay in place and provide me with um, that kind of stiff straight edge that I need um, in order to create this type of a look. And as I'm getting um, the line there, I'm kind of taking my brush and tugging it downward in order to blend that product all over my lid. And if you need to, like if your skin starts to move a bit, you can use your other hand to hold your eyes hot. So that way you can um, really get a nice clean line here. Because if nothing else <laughs> for a cut crease, when you're using that base to carve it out, you want to make sure that's absolutely perfect. Anything else, you know, you can kind of... Um, I guess cover it up or fix it later but this part of it just kind of has to be um, pretty perfect in order to create this look because it's just a really specific precise look so you can see I'm tugging my eye there to just get that line nice and clean and then blending the rest of the product. So I'm going in with this very vibrant yellow shade and I'm using this brush. I think I got it from AliExpress, just a set of cheap brushes, but it's really small so that I'm able to pack that color on and stay in the lines, girl. It's really important that this only goes where that white base is laying down. And I'm just packing it on and kind of rubbing along that line in order that I don't go above it. And now I'm trying this yellow shade. It looked to be a little bit darker than the first, but I really didn't notice a huge difference between the two. Um, so if you have this palette, you can kind of just pick one. <laughs> And if you don't, just use any shade that you have that you want to be your lid color and just pat it on very, very carefully. Now I'm going in with this lighter green. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it, but not a lot, okay? And I'm patting over the line where the yellow and green 
um, meat and it just helps with blending. So if you're ever blending horizontally from left to right, overlap the shades and kind of pat along the line so you can't tell where one color ends and where the next begins. Now I'm going in with this. It's a little bit darker than the first green and I was just trying to see if I can get kind of that ombre effect going and you notice I got a little bit there so I was trying to um, scrape that away <laughs> and then I'm taking this clean color angled brush and going into this deeper green again that teal green and the angled brush is just going to help me make sure that I'm right there where the um, cut crease is forming and I'm just going along there to deepen that area and provide a more gradient effect and then I'm mixing the white shimmery base and that sort of sand brown color as my brow bone highlight. And then blending it out with my fingers. Now I'm just taking a makeup wipe and cleaning up that line like I said we would. And cleaning up any fallout from the eyeshadow. Because these are pressed pigments so they do have a good bit of fallout. And then I decided to take this small Ruby Kisses brush. And I'm just um, going back with the yellow and green um, on the angle brush and just kind of cleaning up. And then using the pencil end of that um, Urban Decay brush to blend it out. Now I'm going in with the Vivid um, Bright Liner from NYX. And I believe the yellow shade is called... Vivid Halo, I think, but I'll leave the names of everything in the description box for you below. And this was my first time using this yellow liner, but I really like how vibrant it is. And I'm just very carefully with my hand in front of the camera, <laughs> creating a yellow winged liner, okay? So with winged liner, I just take my time and make small strokes with the brush. Um, I typically don't love to use liquid liner, but um, I wanted to try out these products and I think I did pretty well with it, okay? So just take your time, make small strokes with it. And if you notice, I made the little line coming out from my um, bottom lash line first and then works my way inward to create the line along my lashes okay and then i'm just building up the color to make sure that it looks very pigmented and it's just a very nice crisp line so i think this product worked fairly well for me um, I know some people reported like it cracking and things like that, but I didn't have any trouble with that. Um, and I did make sure that I shook it up before I used it. So maybe that helped too. Um, any cracking that you see is not due to the products. It's just my eyelids have cracks in them because of psoriasis. So <laughs> create that yellow winged liner. And then I forgot to record this part, but I just took a nude pencil. Um, it's called Topaz from Stila. And then I took some more of that NYX base and put it on my bottom lash line. I'm running that Ruby Kisses Curve. I think it's called C-Curve eyeshadow brush into a makeup wipe to moisten it. And then using that shimmery light green to go along the bottom lash line where I placed that white base. And I'm going all the way across with that color and then I'm um, going to take a little bit of the yellow, whatever's left on that brush and blend out underneath there so that it's not too harsh. And then I'm using the Sculpt powder from the Black Radiance Contour Kit to blend out the bottom underneath where the green is as well. Next, I'm just going in with a coat of mascara on my upper and lower lashes being sure to cover up that yellow liner that I've gotten into them from trying to do the yellow wing liner. And then the bottom lash line, just making sure to give them a nice coat because sometimes I can get the eye pencil um, on my lashes. Then I decided to use some of the orange Vivid Brights um, liner from NYX just to add a pop of um, orange in there for some color. 
and I decided to do like an inner wing with it and then to um, use it to follow along the line of my cut crease but just like in the outer corner for that one and inner wings are pretty hard for me to do so this was a task <laughs> now I'm going in with some lashes I bought these lashes from Aliexpress I'll link um, in an iCard the video where I showed um, the little mini haul that I did when I purchased these and they're in the style A14 the 3D Minx from Aliexpress. Now I'm using this shade, I believe it's called Zulu, but it's just like an orange color and I'm using it as a blush and then I'm contouring with that um, Black Radiance Contour Palette again in the places that I like to um, contour in the hollows of my cheek, my nose, along my jawline there. And if you'd like to see anything where I'm doing foundation, you can just see one of my previous videos. I'll try to link one of those as well. And I'm just using my face brush to kind of blend all those powders together. And then spraying my NYX Matte Finish Spray. Because I planned on leaving the house <laughs> after this. Now I'm using the highlight shade in that contour palette. And just putting that... Um, on the highest points of my cheeks, blending it out with my fingers, and then on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to use a fan brush to highlight my cupid's bow. I'm just using this bold lip liner. And it's just a dark brown shade. And then the orange lipstick is the, I know this is an oxymoron, but it's a matte gloss from LA Girl. And I will leave the um, shade down in the description box as well. This is when you kind of have to layer it up a bit in order to get some pigmentation there. Um, especially with the orange being so bright on the eyes. <laughs> and here's the finished look. I hope you enjoy this sunny summer sleigh. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Oh, wee baby. I'm gonna tell them say subscribe. Thursday. Say give me thumbs up. Thumbs see your thumb. <laughs> say love you. Yeah, I do. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>